What's up everybody, it's Floppy Ducks here, and uh, we're going into the third, yes, the third, I know, it's the third, man, the third, alright, uh, it's the third episode on the graffiti poster that we decided to choose the word poster for. I'm just going over a brief explanation within the last two episodes. Episode one, we went over a basic sketch and erasing, um, you know, techniques, skills, um, and then number two, we went over, um, got shading, outlining, um, with partial outlining in, uh, episode one also, mainly episode two, um, and 3D and shading. Now we're getting into the final basics, if you're going to color or not in color, um, Unfortunately, I'm not coloring this poster just because this one does not need it. I like the design of it and straight um, black and white. So instead, in order to finalize it up, we're going to try a couple things. Um, since I'm not coloring it, we're going to try to make it run. I haven't actually did this before, so I'm going to put the second page. Um, I've only attempted this a couple times and it, it kind of worked. So if we were to make a quick. Ah, uh, no, I'm good. That's not going to work. I want to, um. I still don't want to have it quite good yet. Love it in there. How to add direct effects to it, but in order to make this final, um, react to this by the way, we're gonna go through and we're gonna lightly add detail to it, lightly. In this case, I'm just going to add a light, a real light, kind of faded. really kind of faded lines and what that's going to do is it's going to add kind of some perception and just kind of more sketchier kind of detail around the poster without adding too much to it so that I kind of added a more scratched effect to it um you know we might do underline. So for an underlined, for an underlined poster, you go and arc it down and over, and uh, there is your. Finalize some of the kind of underdrawing. Now that we have the basics down, um, you kind of get like a feel for what it's offering. Um, no, yeah, you can do more. Yeah, we will be doing more. And yes, um, there will be more walkthroughs um, when we do do one of the color, but unfortunately, this is one that I look clean. I don't have to have a lot of stuff. I mean, like, a pack of erasers costs, like, 39 cents. You don't really need two pencils. It's just nice to have a variety that you can have, um, different size leads for, and so the shading comes out different. But, I mean, just a standardized, like, number two pencil would work. It doesn't have to be a G207 pen, but this one, I just prefer these. Um, like I said, you can literally do, like, a number two pencil and, like, a piece of paper, like, Scratch paper is fine on the floor, but um, it's, it's, it's pretty solid. Um, and when you finish a poster, I like to have a signature um, move. And, um, so for me, um, I come over here and I um, down the bottom right poster develop. Buddy, you know, I'll sign my name. Yeah. 
I'll draw it in a little small band because I'll kind of add two black orders in here. Um, yeah, that's... Let me see, um... Like I said, um, there, there's going to be a lot more coming. This wasn't really much. We didn't really cover anything in here because this is just kind of the top. Um, normally this should have been like a color video on how to, how to, um, you know, color it in and how to make it, you know, correspond to what you want it to do. But that's not the case in this one. So we're going to go through and make this. And go ahead and make the final things this poster and go ahead and set it up. Um so uh, if you guys have any questions about it, feel free to put them down in the comments below. I will try to answer um, as many as I get. Just, you know, as long as they're not ridiculous, weird questions. Um, we all stay here. I'm just gonna continue to do this until this thing starts to behave itself. Now what we're gonna do is after once I got this like freeze stuff. Offered. Shouldn't take too long. Um, poster design. I want to talk about how this can make a career happen. Poster design can lead to um, defeat art, de design art for like movies and everything. Um, it can lead to a lot of things. Um, but I just have to do that a hobby. So this is the finished prod product. Can spook. Um, so I have to find a spot for this in my room, and then I guess we can make another one. But for now, I'm just gonna use this nail. I'm just gonna oh my fuck. It is. So we're just gonna have to go right next to it. Just. Twist the nail through the art. Right. Um, now I'll tell you more about the story. Uh, like I said, it doesn't take much. We are starting a new um graffiti series. On the channel, and it's called um, these, these are, this is like the third video on it, but I'm uh, um, pretty much I'm just gonna go through um, basic graffiti um, words and things. So, we're gonna pick a word for next time, and in this video, and you'll get to see pieces here and there of me sketching it, and then you guys have to wait for the next video, which is coming like sometime next week, like Monday, Tuesday. So be prepared for that. Um, so we're gonna pick a word. Um, I don't know. Well, I think something. I kind of want to leave this up to you, but, uh, I have, like, three ideas in my head. Um, so, I'll 
gonna put some ideas. I'm, I'm gonna put. Yeah. I'm gonna put three ideas on four trunks, paper, stick on my hat, mix it around, we'll draw one, and then, um, that's when we get to two, so I'm gonna write down some random things. So. So, we're actually gonna be categories, so. Food is one of them. Um. Cars. Uh, brands, okay. Food, car, and brands. Simple enough. Now we're going to repeat this process and do it again. I will have to continue this. Maybe it might be a little longer. change this um food cards and braces because I've had this one stuck in my head for a while uh, um I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, continue to do this and I'll catch you guys in a second Alright, so what this is going to work is, I have braces, food, and cars, and I have them all in a bunch of little shreds, and I have 12 shreds here, three categories, um, there's three categories to pick from, and there's, uh, four sets of them. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hat off. And I'm going to put all these in here. And speaking of which, I don't think I did a video covering two quick things um, besides my blue hair. Um, I got a haircut a couple months ago, and then I died my hair a couple weeks ago. I haven't been active in like half a year. Um, it's probably not good. <laughs> and then I also got races. I had, I had races, and I get closer. Uh... And I've had races for like since July, and I got my bottom ones on like two weeks ago. Um, anyways, let me. Uh, silly me. Let me do something real quick. Let me fold these in half so I can't see what I'm grabbing. Well, this is gonna work as I did in here. And I'm gonna grab one of these. Well, kind of. Kind of, sort of. I'm going to put these all in my hat. And then I'm gonna mix my hat around. And I'm gonna reach in here. And. Okay. I have two categories here. I have cars and I have food. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold these up and I'm going to And the one that goes further, which is this one, is cars. Um, so I'm gonna take the ones closest to me, throw it back in there, and I'm gonna mix it around, and I'm gonna pull two of them. Okay. And I got braces. So now I have braces and cars. Is I mix them around, and then the one that lands on the floor, which is 
Now let go. Uh, I'm sure I'm gonna put it. What are the ones in the chair? The opposite. The car's not in the chair. So the one that hit the floor was braces. And that is the one we are going with for this time. There will be more about that. So I'm just going to go ahead and start on that. And then you guys will get to kind of see a sneak kind of preview of it. And then I'll be able to. And then in the next episode that you'll see, um, you'll get to see these. So the word is braces and you guys will see it. So yeah, let's go. Um, maybe I added more, maybe I didn't, um, maybe that's what you get to see, um, for now, but I will be picking back up on this, and this will be finished over the weekend, and I'll show you finished project, Monday is how it's going to be, I'll start it, and I'll end it, I'll start it, I'll do it, and I'll, so the end product. So if you look at like one like a pro, look forward to this Monday or Tuesday, and I'll see y'all when I come. Peace.